Hello everybody, welcome back to the shop. Ten more action-packed, drama-free minutes of Bob TV, baby. Brought to you in Philovision. Okay, we have got the tornado almost finished. Okay, we got pretty close on it. Actually got this far a couple days ago. But, uh, and it kind of had to get shoved aside. It's almost done. We got to CG it. I got to do something with this canopy. This kind of a cheesy little setup. And, uh, got all the linkages ran. He's going to have to go over this monocoat with an iron and a sock. <laughs> with the old iron and sock treatment. But other than that, it came out pretty good. Nice and clean. See how clean it all looks? Don't look too congested. Put my fuel pump on there. Someone said, be worried about these gas tanks. I guess this can come out now. Uh, I, I don't. I haven't heard anything. There ain't anything on RC Universe about them breaking or anything. But uh, we're just gonna give it a shot. See these filters? These big filters these jet cats come with. It's fine if you use them, but it's better if you stand them things up and uh, feed your motor out of the bottom one and fill it from the top. That way you shouldn't get any bubbles in your line. That's the best way. That's the ball way. <laughs> and you see these little antennas I like to put a little bit of uh, of uh, airline on them it fits right on the little nipple and I keep them wires straight see how that looks that's a neat little bobo trick and that's about it for this but that's going to be a nice economical little jet I weighed it only weighs 15 pounds uh, it's got 15 pounds of thrust. Add some fuel. That thing's going to fly good, man. I uh, can't wait to fly. I think we might be going out this weekend. Okay, I've got something else to show you. You guys ready? Oh, one more thing. <laughs> Buddy of mine told me, this ain't building. This is rigging. <laughs> so I've been rigging that for him. But look what I got. Bam! Wings on the Tomcat. This thing's ready for action, man. And uh, I'm ready to fly it. I think we might go out this weekend. Yeah, the wings showed up yesterday. Uh huh. I just had to put my servos back in them. Now they are weight load tested, certified, and uh, good to go, I guess. <laughs> I don't know, but uh, kind of one thing been bothering me. You know, I got them big old hog motors in there. Oh, I cut on the flashlight. Notice anything? No fog screens. Okay, and I took the motors off of them, so that's just uh, there's nothing to connect the fog screens. Okay, well, like this one here, they all slip over that starter motor. Well, I don't have no starter motor. Okay, but I would still like to run fog screens, man. I would sure hate to suck something up and uh, ruin one of them engines. You know, and, uh, you know, I get these here at the dollar store. Yeah, at the dollar store. And I just work them out a little bit, cut me a little cross on them, and put them, but they won't work on these motors. They're too big. They get in the way of the fuel line. But check this out. I was at the grocery store the other day, found these little T strainers. Now, what I think I'll be able to do is I'll just cut these lugs off, cut them off, and take me uh, some of my goop. And put like four drops of goop on it and set them in there. Because they kind of sit on them Festo fittings. I don't know. I sure would like to get something in there though. So we're going to give her a shot. Turn the compressor on.
heat screener to fog screen. That easy. Now if I wanted to put this on a little turbine, I would just take my cutter or Dremel, you know, and cut me some slices in there and work it over that starter motor and then take some black electrical tape. And uh, man, they look good once they're on there. You know, that's the economical way. In my E600, it's kind of a flexible glue that is removable. It's that rubber stuff, you know. So, if I wanted to get it off the front of these engines, it'd come right off. But I sure don't want to run these things without fog screens, man. Hey Pat, we was up flying a buddy months playing. He had one of the balsa wood boomerangs. We was up there flying around having a good old time. I landed it and I noticed there was a bunch of holes sticking through the monocoat. And the motor was still running and everything. I thought, what the hell? And uh, we shut it off and uh, got to looking and there was like, oh, uh, 30 to 40 little tiny holes. All around the motor area, and uh, it was just balsa wood, you know. And uh, got to looking inside that turbine, and a couple of them blades just disintegrated. But Pat thinks he might have dropped a screw or something inside that fuselage. <laughs> but it was being ran without a fog screen, so that cost him six hundred bucks. He had to send that turbine in. It cost him six hundred dollars. So let that be a lesson. To you. Now what I gotta do is figure out a way to keep this on there. I think what I might try and do is hold it up there with this and then tape this straw and that duct work. Sounds like a good idea, huh? This would have been easier to do without them turbines in, but I sure ain't gonna pull them out. <laughs> For this. <laughs> That's a lot of work getting them bad boys out of there. Man, can't believe we got Tomcat wings back. They're good to go. What we gotta do is not make a mess with this stuff. That's the secret. <laughs> 